Abortion clinics in Maryland could be getting state funds to create security infrastructure at abortion clinics in the state. As Stephen Cohn reports, the idea comes just as neighboring West Virginia has imposed a ban on the procedure. The bill would collect $1 from every Maryland insured policyholder to fund security measures at abortion clinics in the state. The funds are part of an Affordable Care Act surplus in the state treasury, but would pay for security cameras, staffing and lighting at reproductive rights facilities to prevent harassment, assaults, stalking and bomb threats. People have the right to go into our clinic and that's why we're here, to give them a safe entrance into the clinic to, to um, make the choice that they want to make. Critics of the plan have testified against the funding at the State House in Annapolis. It is totally unnecessary. We are just here to pray for the young women that are coming in here to have abortions, that maybe they have a change of mind. But the plan comes at a time when the state is expected to have an influx of women seeking the procedure in Western Maryland. And the people from West Virginia, who after it was banned in West Virginia, after abortion was banned, I opened this clinic in Cumberland, Maryland. In November, Maryland voters will decide if a right to an abortion should be enshrined in the state constitution. The General Assembly has until next month to send a bill to the governor. Reporting from Hagerstown, Stephen Cohen, DC News Now.